Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Stoneblock 2. Uh, I'm gonna check with you together to see if we have enough Chironite to go into the tier 3 of Voider Miner and then we can also look at getting a personal nanobot beacon because that's gonna be just a bunch better than having these two guys over here because I, I keep have to refill them with potions uh, and I'm talking about the Pharaoh's beacons. Uh, we have one for speed and one for saturation and we can just get that on a personal nanobot beacon and the higher tier we go with the nanobot beacons the more uh, I believe the more modifiers we can add to it to get more of the um, more of the traits from it I guess so Chironite 153 I think that might be enough we need a total of six for that. No, that's not going to be enough. Definitely not. No. But what we can do probably is get a personal nanobot beacon of tier two. So let me just grab a bit of lithorite, like two stacks and like three stacks, maybe maybe a bunch more of this. Uh, I could probably, and what would be best if I would just have this hooked up to the to the storage. And why don't we? Uh, I set up kind of my machines over here uh, and we have currently our drawers just in here and it's a bit of a mess and all that uh, why don't we just fix up our drawer setup here why don't we put it down here on the floor I'll move all of these downwards we can connect them to this drawer controller and move this storage crate a little bit over uh, I might be even considering just removing my bonsai pots for the moment because we can actually not until we get our um, our whatchamacallit, our phytogenic insulator sorted, because other than that, this is our only way to make dark oak wood. What I can probably do is get, is get this removed. Yeah, get this removed, put the drawers in here, and then we can set up a um, area just down below, where we have like, let's say four or five bonsai pots, just with dark oak, and possibly the string and the, um, the paper, because currently we don't have any string going into here. I think it might be going into the actual string drawer which is this guy uh, so let me do a bit of work on the drawers uh, and hopefully clear up this and get everything moved around and uh, then we can also set up somewhere where we move this to the same kind of area downstairs uh, and have everything hooked up and then we can just give this guy an ender chest and not worry about uh, upgrading it later because uh, we're gonna need more and more room for this anyway so yeah let me do some work and we'll be back all the drawers are now here. It is a horrible mess, but it will get cleaned up eventually and slowly because we're gonna set up a mob farm again and we're gonna move all our mob farm drawers to there. Uh, and we're probably just gonna have specific spawners for, for, for specific items. Uh, for example, a wisp spawner if we wanna do thomcraft. If not, I might even not be doing thomcraft this time around because I don't wanna flux my base <laughs> like I normally do when I do thomcraft. Uh, I could be super careful, but we'll see where the series goes. Maybe we'll do it eventually. It doesn't hurt to have the drawers here. I can't really see them if I close up this room. Or if we do something else over here, we can probably just uh, have this entire box be kind of like machines that we always use all around. And eventually when we move some of these drawers, we can have a, a pathway going from here to there and then set up another area for something over here But for the moment, it's just gonna stay open We also have like a bit of openness here Which was left over from my other ME system and we can do from our auto crafting I should say uh, and we're probably gonna do more with mechanism eventually But there was a comment from Daniel who loves cake by the way uh, And he wants me to do cake uh, all the time every day all day every day so he wanted me to do ceilings so I think it's time for do for for doing the ceilings today uh, that is perfect English by the way so let me gather some resources I'm gonna play around with a little bit of what I want as kind of a design in the ceiling I don't know if I should just copy it over everywhere kind of the same uh, because that might get a bit repetitive I could do an organic ceiling but I don't think that really fits within our factory kind of style uh, we could put some piping in the ceiling and make it look all cool, but I don't know how much that creates lag. If we would put, uh, let's say, fluid pipe, uh, this guy uh, from Immersive, I don't know if that would cause a bunch of lag uh, if we use those, because they kind of look really cool. If we do, do we have any? We have six. So if we would put like these in the 
in the walls there. That would look kind of cool for, for transferring liquids and stuff. I could probably also be using those, but I'd rather have uh, the fluid pipes uh, be hardened fluid ducts because you can actually see the liquids and it's a bit more colorful. So let me get some resources, as I said, and I'm going to work on the ceiling, possibly just in here for the moment, just so we can get a bit of an idea of what we want and uh, hopefully I can get something cool designed. So I designed this. We have the treated wood planks, the kind of vertical ones, and then the other ones as well. I don't know what exactly they're called. One of them are vertical planks and the other one are packaged planks. So we have vertical, packaged, vertical, and then kind of the opposite on the other side. And I think I made it all correctly, hopefully. Yeah, I think I did. Uh, and I kind of have that design. Uh, let me know down in the comments if you think this looks cool. And I also went and filled everything here with basalt and treated wood planks on the sides. And I kind of ran out of treated wood planks. I mean, this is the last that I can have. I could use it for something over here as well. I could just fill, fill in the uh, edges over here. But I think the next order of business is for us to actually set up automation for the blocks that we are using. So I think we can go possibly, I don't know where. I wanted to go there, but I think we can go, let's say here, because we have most of our uh, like automation-y bits here as well. Uh, so we have them all around the base, but it doesn't matter. Uh, so I'm gonna take my destruction gadget, I'm gonna get a hole dug, and we need to set up a way to make treated wood planks. So we are gonna need a resonant furnace. Uh, with the uh, furnace, I should say, uh, with the upgrade of pyrolytic conversion, and we can toss in hay bales, could be a thing, but that gets us 100 millibuckets, and that isn't what we want. I think the best thing that we could toss in is either wood or basically coal blocks, which I think are gonna be the best, yeah. Um, so I'm gonna just gonna toss in blocks of coal. They're gonna produce blocks of coal coke, which we can then use for fuel if we wanted to. We could make a petrified fuel generator uh, to burn that uh, as well. We could burn it in steam dynamos if we wanted to. Uh, and there's also a use for it to make steel, I believe. We can take the coal coke uh, and put it in an alley smelter with some iron to make steel. We could do that. I said I was gonna go the mechanism route, which I think is the most efficient coal-wise, but since we're gonna be producing coal coke anyway, why not just take an extra little step to make steel and just use up the coal coke as we get it? Uh, I think that will be okay. Uh, and then we need basalt as well, which is lava uh, in an igneous extruder to make basalt, but I think I'm gonna wait on that. For the moment, we have still 12,000 basalt, so I think that's gonna last us a little bit. Uh, if we don't go on any more crazy building adventures like this one, uh, we might fill up the ceilings as we build more rooms anyway, but that's going to take a little basalt at a time. Uh, and by that point, I hope we are going to set up one of these guys as well to, uh, sorry, not one of these guys, one of the other ones, the resource miners, that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, and uh, those will automatically produce us basalt as well. Uh, this ender chest, by the way, is uh, a white, black, white, and a diamond. I totally forgot to mention that in the last clip. Uh, and it is hooked up over here to this controller slave to this drawer setup. And over here in the back, we have some dark oak bonsai pots with a spider web and a paper bark as well. Uh, even though we already have sugarcane for this and we're gonna get string from a mob farm, or if we desperately need string, which kind of we are needing string, we could expand this this way uh, and add a couple more garden cloches, one with string, for example, and one maybe with soybeans because we're gonna need eggs at some point. And if we don't wanna do the whole thing with, um, with having chickens and then pooping out eggs for us, we can just get firm tofu, which is made from silken tofu and that is made from soybeans and soybeans can be grown in a garden cloche as well to make just regular soybeans. Uh, because the other way to get eggs would be to use chicken essence, which we cannot. Uh, hatchery, which is chickens, cannot. Ground traps, eh. And then just chickens, regular chickens laying eggs uh, on the floor while, while they do the regular thing, being Minecraft chickens. Uh, and yeah, I think let's just first of all tackle the blocks, as I said, and I'm gonna get a bunch of materials and get a bunch of it done and I'll show it to you in a moment. 
This is, I think, the final layout of the machines. We're gonna take coal, and specifically, we're gonna filter coal blocks over here on this resident servo, and I'm gonna have an exporter underneath exporting that. Uh, that's gonna go into this redstone furnace. It's gonna process into coal coke with the pyrolytic conversion. That's gonna get pushed into this drawer, and then another extract on here. We're gonna extract specifically just coal coke, and we can put on a whitelist as well as here. And then over here, we're going to input the coal coke. So let me just grab a stack and also grab a drawer downgrade. And we're going to put that here and also here and here as well. And that's going to take coal coke. Uh, we can also lock it and quantify it. And some iron ingots that we're going to grab from our system. Uh, we via an export bus down below. And that is then going to get extracted and probably actually just retrieved, to be honest, because if we do an extract, this will just extract coal coke and fill up this guy with coal coke, uh, because this guy isn't very smart. Uh, it can be smart if you have inputs on different sides. For example, you can have a, uh, a green one, and then I think it's a purple one as well. So you can separate them, but you cannot separate them on the same one. So if we have just an input on the right, and we have a servo, this would extract two stacks of coal coke, uh, and eventually it can mess up. Uh, so if we do this and filter, let's say 64 and 64, um, actually we don't have to, we just have to specify to keep, it can keep, let's say 16 in the system, it doesn't really matter. Uh, and then if we turn you on uh, without a whitelist, I think it should be fine, actually that and that. Uh, I don't know if that is really necessary, but let's just test together. Uh, so that should put in 16 coal coke and 16 iron at, at, all, the time, at all times, which is really cool. So that's lovely. Uh, we can even set the extract to be 16 or even just less, like one. Uh, and then here, we're gonna just probably push out of this guy because it has auto output. And we can just do that to push into here. And this is gonna be our steel drawer. And then over here on this side, we have a few machines. Uh, since I'm gonna be using the uh, packaged planks and the vertical planks as well, for building, we can just extract treated wood planks directly into this guy with a servo, uh, like so. And then this guy is going to push them automatically. We can extract them from here, and this guy is going to push them automatically. Uh, so we can just control these servos with phantom faces underneath and on the drawer controller, for example. The only trick, or tricky part at least here, is going to be setting up proper drawer controllers. I don't think we need coal coke in the system because we're not going to need it for anything really. And if we do, we can tack tackle it at that point. But since we're using it for steel, I assume it's just going to get used up as it gets made because this furnace is going to be rather slow. So the only thing we need on a drawer controller are these two to be on an export. So let's grab some trim. Uh, let's make some more if we can. There we go. If we go down here, we're gonna say bam, 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 and then a drawer controller here, like so. And then up top, we don't need to store this. We do need to store this, 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 and the steel. And here we need an export. So let's go down, down be below, I said. Oh, we don't have a hole dug yet. Um, so let's just do this real fast, just to the edge. This is going to be the last one here. Wonderful. So this one, this one, and let's get a little bit more space. There we go. So we need you and you and you all on the same drawer controller. Uh, and we can prob can we put this here? Are you going to see everything? Nope. Okay. So we're going to need to put it, let's say here, and we can bring a cable from the side, but that sees everything. Uh, one thing that we can also add is probably this guy over here. And we're going to see how far the drawer controller sees. Yep, we see the steel. That's all good. Uh, and here we just need an export. So we're going to have an export on this drawer. But I don't think if we have a trim all the way going all the way over to here, if we would extract that, let's say just let's do let's conduct a test. Do you see the thing? No, you see, oh, you do see iron and coal coke. All right. I mean, that works, I guess. Because we can, we only need an export bus here uh, for, 
iron, coal coke, sorry, no, iron, and uh, the coal coke is going to get extracted, so iron, and coal, and planks, right? And I don't have space for the planks in my inventory, there we go. So we're going to give you a capacity card with iron, coal, and planks, and also you're going to need a crafting card to craft uh, items, because we're going to need oak wood planks to be crafted. Uh, we could specifically just extract coal box as well, but coal is fine, I think. Uh, and we can do export using round robin, and then here I have some dense cable coming, so we can uh, have that hooked up on a P2P tunnel, which is going to be lovely. All right, uh, I think I broke a basalt. Yeah. All right, so uh, the liquids from here are just going to be transferred over with the hardened fluid duct directly to the sequential fabricator. One thing that we can do probably is add a tank over here in the middle. We're just going to do this guy, uh, and we can grab a kit. Whoops. Kit here. Let's just grab a... You know what? I'm just going to grab the reinforcement. It doesn't matter. Or the conversion kit. It's wastes a little bit of invar, but I think it's fine. Um, all right, so this is going to extract, and then I think we're going to need servo here to do the whole extraction, uh, like that. And this guy has an input on the back. So let me bring power over to here. I think we can just grab it directly from this, or bring it around over here on the edges, uh, and bring it over. So we can have actually this up and running, and I'm going to connect everything below, and hopefully by the time I come back, everything is working. I think everything is hooked up, as I said. We have steel controlled on 10,000. We have these two treated woods on 1,000. And currently they're not uh, turned on just yet because I'm going to need treated wood to build around the base. So I'm just going to leave this be until it accumulates. And then we can open up the gates and let these guys go for 1,000. But the wires are coming over from there and they're like diagonally, which I really like. And then we have two posts here. One is going to these three items and then the other one to these three, these two machines. We have the creosote going under and over instead of going in betwixt. Uh, we could actually store a little bit of creosote here somewhere. Uh, but then I would need to pump it down into a tank and then over and then up. We could still do that, I think, uh, if we grab some fluid ducts. Uh, we have still a few. Let's grab some servos. And I had that tank for creosote, this guy. Uh, we can put you here. And then we can say bam, bam. And then we just extract out of here. Right? I think that should be fine. And then we don't even need the facades down here. We can just have the scaffolding. So that way, once the creosote... Uh, or once the uh, the tank fills up, we can control probably this redstone furnace from that tank. Uh, we can use either a comparator, or I don't know if there's a fluid checker of some kind. Uh, if we can do that, um, I don't know. But currently, you can see we're going to start running out of uh, coal coke. But as soon as we have 10,000 steel in here, which is currently being made, uh, and eventually when we get more coal coke, there's going to be more made. Uh, this is just going to start backlogging on coal coke. We can even give it some upgrades uh, and uh, we should be good on that. Uh, one thing that we can also do is actually give this a void upgrade too, I think. And that will be better. So if we do that and that, wonderful. Um, that really doesn't matter, but you know, it's just the way I like it. Um, all right, so this is a completed system. We're getting treated with planks, we're getting steel. So we have unlimited steel scaffolding now. And the next order of business would be to tackle basalt. But as I said, this is that is gonna be done with the voider miners and we don't need a separate system for that, I think. So that is pretty much uh, all done and dusted. I had to change one more thing over here by our induction smelter. I decided to uh, add only coal coke through this duct and then we're adding iron here on the bottom because the induction smelter stopped working and I assume the way this works is uh, just it tries to extract first iron and then coal coke and apparently it was still extracting iron for some reason and I don't know why that messed up uh, but at least it does work now uh, with the two imports from uh, both sides. And what I had to do is add a drawer controller, sorry, not the controller slave, down here uh, for that to be possible. Uh, because we can't extract directly out of the oak trim. 
Uh, one thing that I'm wondering is if we have enough Chironite <clears throat> to get to the next tier of the Voidor Miner. So I'm gonna go online and check because there's a specific calculator or there's just numbers written down for how many uh, Chironite we need for the second tier upgrade. Uh, and we will see if we can upgrade it. If not, we're gonna do that next episode. We have enough materials to upgrade our void ore miner, which was here, <laughs> to the second tier. So we can go over here to our ME system, and then in here I have all the recipes prepared. So we can just get a void miner. Uh, I had that searched up for a reason. A void ore miner controller tier three, like so. And then we're gonna put that back, and we can order up. Uh, but, but where are you? Structure frame tier three. We need 56 of these. Go. Uh, and then I'll place this guy down uh, just to check how many other things we need. So eight modifiers, which I don't think I have set up a recipe for. Where are you, modifier? You. Boom, boom, boom. <clears throat> and put you right here. So modifiers, we have, I think, four currently. And let's get another four, like so. And then we have some laser cores. Uh, it, I think it used up my crystal laser lens, uh, which is all right. <clears throat> um, and we have five Chironite left. So our structure frames are complete. We need how many structure panels? 52. So we currently have 40. So let's order up another, where are you, structure panel? Right here, another 50, 12. That would be making 52. Wonderful. Anything else that we need? Structure frames, four laser cores, one laser lens of any type. So let's grab a lens. <clears throat> and I should not be tossing my lens inside. I think it's erodium is what we needed for the crystal laser lens. Because then the recipe will use that up for, uh, for making. I think I used it for making the uh, void reminder. Let's see if we can just do that. No. Uh... Are you gonna only update if I place a cardboard box next to you? Still no. And I can't move it with this. Why does this cause issues? Can I even pick it up with this guy? Sneak right clicking? Nope. Apparently not. I don't know why it doesn't update properly. Hello? Hello? Oh, I'll be trying this for a moment until I can pick it up. I managed to pick up the Voider Miner. I just had to left click it with a cardboard box and then it worked instead of sneak, or sorry, right click it instead of sneak right click. For some reason that worked. But this guy is assembled and true. We have a beam going down so we can add ourselves the ender chest and then we can add a flux point and that should start providing us with stuff and that's 32,000 RF tech. I don't know if we have the power to support oh this is saying 750 now was oh i think it was just draining to fill up the internal inventory so 750 rf tech that i think we can support i don't know how much it's going to use on the, the the higher tiers but hopefully when we get there we can set up more better power production because canola currently it is running our canola numbers are going down because we need to craft so many seeds apparently uh, to keep this up and apparently we're also using quite a bit of canola for uh, the oil So we might need more than just the three garden cloches I can probably easily just turn this into six garden cloches and just have them on the side over there That might be a thing that we can do But this guy is gonna run and provide us with uh, also the next tier of crystal which is gonna be palladium uh, which allows us to make accuracy modifiers and resistance modifiers also a regen modifier, luck modifier, and the structure frame tier fours. We need ionite crystals before we can get to saturation modifiers. So we're not gonna do the personal nanobot beacon just yet. We can also get night vision, which I don't think I really want because I like having night vision to be on and off. Uh, and the creative flight modifier might also be nice. We can craft the elytra super easy, so that's gonna be really easy to get. We're gonna need mica though, which is gonna be the void resource miner tier one. So we might as well start getting into that too so i think i'll go and craft the things that we need i'll dig out an area right next to this one uh so we'll get a little bit of a space for it and uh then we can uh set up the void ore miner void resource miner my mistake
We have the Void Resource Miner Controller Tier 2 set up and it is going to start providing us with different materials and I'm going to be slowly transferring them into the drawers over here. I'm going to need to add a few more regular drawers. I don't really see the space but we have at least the ability to make some of these probably. I have a bunch of chests, we just need some planks. So make me a thousand planks please. So we can just make a few of these and then grab our key, put it in our offhand, and then we can just do this. And those should possibly, hopefully, be visible in the drawer controller. Uh, do we have any granite right in right now? No. So if we put this up top here, we can see the granite. Wonderful. That works. And uh, I will just slowly be searching in the ender chest and getting everything out and stored into the drawers. But I think this is going to be it for today. So I want to thank you all so much for watching. I am hoping you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, make sure to hit the like button. You can also subscribe to see new videos. You can support me on Patreon if you want. And I will see you all in the next episode. Have a good one. Bye-bye.